a whole number n is rounded off to one significant figure to give 400. Write down the smallest whole number that n could be. And so what they're asking us is to determine the smallest whole number that n could be such that when we round this number n to one significant figure, our result is 400. Okay, well, let's try, right? Let's try 349. So let's, let's say that we use 349 and let's say that that's our guess, right? So you're guessing and you say, okay, I think 349 would be the smallest whole number such that when I round it to one significant figure, I get 400. Well, this number has three significant figure, um, three, this number has three significant figures. Three is the first significant figure. And we go here, right? And we underline this. And we see that um, four is less than five. And so since four is less than five, that means that we do not round up, right? So that means that we just would have 300. Okay, so we just would have 300. So if 349 was your guess, then you would be wrong because if we round 349 to if we round 349 to one significant figure, our result is 300 and not 400. Well, let's try, okay, so it's not 349. Well, let's try 350, okay? So if we try 350, then what would be our result? So we have 350, okay? And what is the first significant figure? Well, the first significant figure here is three. So we circle three and then we underline five, right? And so we ask ourselves, okay, let's look at five. When we look at five, we say, okay, well, five, once it's five or greater, we can round up, right? And so that means that we can add one, right? We add one, two, three. And so three plus one is definitely 400, okay? Three plus one is 400. So 349 would not work, right? Because when we round it, when we round 349 um, to one significant figure, we get 300. But when we use 350 and we round it to one significant figure, we get 400. And so our answer is 350, the smallest whole number that n could be, such that when we take this number and we round it to one significant figure, we get 400. The smallest number that n could be is 350. Okay, so the answer is 350. Next we have, next we have to write down what is the largest whole number that n could be, right? Such that when we round it off to one significant figure, we get 400. Okay, so let's say you're thinking about this, you're like, okay, well, um, well, let's use, let's use 450, right? Let's use 450. Now, if we use 450, let's see if when we round it off to one significant figure, if we get 400. So we circle four because this is the first significant figure and we underlying five, right? And so we have, um, we have five right here. And once it's five or greater, we can add one, right? So we add one. And when we add one, we get four plus one. And so that's gonna be five. So what we have here is we have 500, right? We have 500. Now that's a problem because we, 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 we want that when we round it we want that when we round it to one significant figure, we, we want to get 400, we don't wanna get 500. So that means that 450 is, is, is too big, right? So that means that we need a smaller number, right? So let's choose, um, let's choose 449, right? So we have 449, let's choose this one. And so we circle four because that's the first significant figure and we underline four here. And once it's less than five, you know, we do not round up. And so that means that we do not add one to four. And so what we have here is we have, this is gonna be equal to four. And these two, these two numbers are gonna turn to zero. So we have 400, right? So that means that when we take 449, right? And when we take, when we take 449 and we round it to one significant figure, we get 400. But when we take the next number that is higher than 449, which is 450, and we round it to, um, and we round it, and we round it to one significant figure, we get five. We get 500. 
And so what that means is that 449 is the largest whole number that n could be such that when you round it off to one significant figure, you get 400. And it has to be because when we try to go higher than 449 and we go up to 450, well, when we round that, when we round that number correct to one significant figure, we end up getting 500. We don't, we don't end up getting 400. And so that means that the largest number that n could be such that when we round this number, it gives us, four, when we round this number correct to one significant figure, and it gives us 400, the largest number is 449. And that's the answer to this question.